Hey guys, welcome back to VGS Astro. Today I'm going to discuss about some juicy details about your career as I promised. But if you haven't watched the first part, I would urge you to look at the first part of the video in order for many, many things to make sense. So let's continue with part two on all about career. So once I'm done looking at the 10th house, dashas, the yogas, 6th and 7th houses, I would move on to look at the position of Saturn from the 10th house. This is by far one of the most important observations that needs to be considered to assess one's career. And just as I would take the 10th as the ascendant for assessing the success of one's career based on planetary positions in the 7th house from the birth chart, I would do the same for assessing the position and role of Saturn in determining the nature of one's career, stability, and success. So why is this so important? Because because Saturn is the owner of the 10th house in the natural zodiac order. And the position of Saturn from the 10th house is going to speak volumes about one's career. Ideally, we would want Saturn in a strong position, meaning in terms of degrees, in terms of the sign, and also in terms of the house itself that it occupies. Saturn in its own sign, friendly sign, exaltation, are all good for career. And also, your side hustle or any kind of occasion other than your main career or business can also be linked to Saturn's position from the 10th. So let's look at this one by one. And as I promised, I'm going to list out as many careers as possible in this video. And let's see if yours fits into one of the careers that I'm going to mention. I'm going to try and make this list as exhaustive as possible. But remember, there are literally n number of careers which makes it impossible for anyone to list uh, every single one of them. So I'm going to keep this list also as broad as possible. So please leave a comment on the kind of career that you're having, whether it fits in one of the careers that I'm going to mention or even otherwise. Uh, so we all can have a, a collective database of possible careers or at least category of careers. So how do we begin? Saturn, let's assume, is in the first house in the birth chart, which means Saturn is in the fourth from the tenth. So this will give us an idea of where the person may work. So we need to look at careers connected to both the first house as well as the fourth house. Now, to keep it simplified, I'm going to talk about only one of these houses so that I don't sound redundant. But elsewhere in the video, you will find Saturn in the first house. So you will have to figure where this comes in the video. And I will leave it to you to watch that part. For example, watch the part where I discuss where Saturn is in the first house from the 10th house to get an idea about careers related to the first. Okay. Now fuse both these parts to make sense of the kind of career that you might have. But please watch the whole video to understand and possibly have a list of careers to remember when you are dealing with someone's chart. Okay. So before we begin, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more such content. This would cool me in on the kind of video that people like to watch and allow me to create similar videos. So let's begin. Saturn in the first house in your birth chart means Saturn is in the fourth house from the 10th. So we need to look at careers related to fourth. It could be real estate, careers connected with the earth, like digging, laying cables. Fourth is also about construction, so construction-related career is a big possibility. Civil engineering is a possibility. Fourth is also about environmental conservation, so anything from ecologists, archaeology, anthropology can all be seen from this placement. Fourth also represents agriculture. Plenty of people may be having Mars in the fourth for this very reason. The person may also work in a home environment because fourth is the home, maybe your own business, consulting, running an online business, maybe even YouTube, right? Although I would look at uh, the um, uh, fifth for social media or YouTube, I would still connect uh, careers or vocation through YouTube with the fourth house because it allows someone to work from home. But yeah, of course, there are so many out there who actually shoot their videos outdoors so you need to have a good fourth and a good fifth house to be a star on YouTube or Instagram. And I'm talking about it from the 10th house, fourth from the 10th. 
fifth from the tenth should be really really good also fourth is connected with careers in interior design home decoration products related to mother milk rice or anything that's white in color uh, careers connected to vehicles transportation cattle farming poultry farming uh, race course careers related to uh, luxurious items products that sell comfort to the customer hospitality uh, catering industries including psychological counselors motivational speakers and fourth is also about parenting family dynamics so family therapist comes under the ambit of the fourth all of this and many many more can all be linked when saturn is in the lagna in your birth chart but fourth from the 10th house fourth also represents the masses so you could be someone who works with the masses who represents them or gives some service uh, to a mass of people so it could be that you're a politician or any other profession that's connected with a mass of people like um, uh, like let's say tv service or cable and media because this is selling comfort to an entire lot of people who get to watch or receive the service from the confines of their home like services like uh, netflix or amazon prime or even internet or telephony or services like delivery of items like food delivery or delivering newspapers medicines and a whole bunch of other things okay and remember fourth house saturn in the birth chart from the ascendant would normally give careers or at least interest early on in life or a push from one of the members of the family to pursue a degree in law or medicine that's because saturn aspects the sixth house from the fourth which is which is about diseases and litigation right how exciting isn't it if i got your career right or your side hustle right this definitely deserves a like and a subscription so please subscribe and share this video with your friends and family now what if saturn is in the second house in the birth chart it means saturn is in the fifth house from the tenth house a big shout out for these people these people are amongst the most talented people in the creative field they thrive on creativity they thrive on self-expression they are wired to create to make things happen someone wise once said creativity isn't just about venting or fixing imbalances it's a whole lifestyle and it's true creativity makes the mundane magical turns routines into adventures seeing the world through a creator's lens it's like rediscovering the world with childlike wonder everything becomes a canvas for uh fun and engagement and it's not just about one thing it's woven into every aspect of their lives from dressing up for an event to cooking with a rainbow of veggies creators see beauty and detail where others might not that's why they say beauty lies in the eye of the beholder sure some might catch on this uh, a bit later in life but hey better late than never it's going to be one heck of a ride for these saturn in second house warriors so saturn in the fifth we're looking at careers in the creative field careers related to self expression it could be painting drama television being an actor being a musician so basically the entertainment industry okay fifth could also indicate careers con uh, connected to parenting because fifth is about children so you may be working in a setup where you are with children maybe it's a school maybe maybe it's childcare or it's a place of recreation and speaking of recreation it could also be a career connected to gaming uh video games development of games uh software development designing or anything that's connected with leisure and enjoyment fifth is also social media and entertainment including youtube saturn's position in the fifth may be an assurance of success in youtube or any other self expression platforms like youtube like uh instagram or tiktok okay fifth is about religious teaching so there's a big possibility of being a religious teacher including a teacher of astrology right fifth is romance and relationships so you can be a relationship counselor or therapist or even a matchmaker okay maybe you have a website over the internet which helps people connect with other people to find a suitable partner sports and athletics can also be seen from this house so we're looking at 
careers in sports, being a coach in fitness, philanthropy, and a charity also is a big portion of the fifth house because Sun rules the fifth in the natural zodiac order, and he is a dharmic planet who loves to do dharma impartially and selflessly uh, without expecting anything in return. So you could be seeing someone working in a non-profit NGO or being part of a large organization that does selfless work like the Medicine on Frontiers. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but doctors without borders, right? So also check out careers for Saturn in the second and connect with that for more information. I hope you find this interesting and please share this with your friends and family and also subscribe if you're new here. Moving on, we have Saturn in the third house in the birth chart, which is sixth from the 10th. So let's look at the sixth house related careers. And before that, let me tell you that I really appreciate the sixth house Saturn because there's plenty of karma associated with the Saturn in the sixth. And these people are generally extremely hardworking, working long hours, uh, facing challenges along the way, like lawyers, especially those who litigate. They may face conflicts, deal with rivals. Their own friends sometimes become their opponents in a court case, and they deal with all of this on a regular basis. And Saturn, sixth house, is facing enemies who most often than not are not from the outside world, but rather the people who you know very well. They're, they are your people. Take the case of Arjuna from the Mahabharata who fought against his own people for Dharma or someone who is so kind-hearted like uh, Jesus. Even as Jesus was being killed by his own people, he cried out that God might have mercy on them. That's the beauty of the sixth house Saturn. It can be extremely forgiving and it can also be extremely punishing for the opponent. But the point is that these people will see progress in life and success in their field when they begin to do something that is for the greater good. And when you start functioning in the betterment of society as a whole, you not only gain the support of people around you, but also will begin to enjoy the process of all that jazz without fatigue. So let's look at careers now. This house is closely linked with health and wellness. So we are looking at careers in medicine, in pharmaceuticals, in being a doctor, being a nutritionist, therapist, or fitness coach. So anything that deals with taking care of oneself can be uh, brought under the ambit of the sixth house. Sixth house is also about debt. So we're looking at careers in lending, which is working in a bank or a financial institution that lends money. And most often than not, this is not with a commercial mindset. This has mostly to do with humanitarian efforts or at a sense of and a sense of service. So that includes organizations like the IMF. And speaking of service, you can also bring in careers related to nursing, working for a non-profit organization, helping the poor, being a good Samaritan, or being a mental health counselor. Basically, uh, like a social work that spans anything from what I've mentioned to environmental conservation, animal care, and veterinary medicine. As sixth governed service, you could be working in any of the service industry like hospitality, housekeeping, babysitting, government service, and a plethora of jobs that help you make money by giving some service, any service. It could be something extremely sophisticated to something very small like a massage to physiotherapy. Of course, please note that they are very different from selling goods. Sixth is about diseases. So you could be working for an organization like the Center for Prevention of Disease and Disease Control. So basically working in a lab or doing research work on how to prevent disease or finding a vaccine, including primary care and chalking a plan for standard practices to be adopted by people at large. Sixth is about litigation. So you could be a litigator, a lawyer or a judge or an arbitrator, right? Six is posing a challenge or creating obstacles. I know that sounds very negative, but there are professions which are into fault finding, like auditing. People in an audit firm make a living by finding faults or finding errors and telling people that they are doing it all wrong. This is more of a challenge for the person who is being questioned rather than the questioner, right? So audit-related jobs can be seen from the sixth house. Six also, to some extent, represents uh, education rather teaching or sharing knowledge with other people 
to help them elevate themselves in life. So vocational teaching, or you could say training can be thought of when we look at careers connected to the sixth house. Sixth is also a plethora of other things. But broadly speaking, I think I have covered most jobs related to the sixth, but also check out careers related to the third to get a better idea of the profession that you might see yourself. Moving on, let's look at Saturn in the fourth house of your birth chart, which translates to seventh from the tenth house of career. Okay, so when it comes to seventh house related careers, we're looking at relationship counselors, marriage counselors, divorce lawyers, matchmakers, people who are into liaison with other people. So marketing, sales, public relations. You can also bring event planners, wedding planners, any and all kinds of businesses, uh, uh, um, businesses that run on partnership basis or based on collaboration under the sway of the seventh. Seventh is also about contracts and agreements. So we're looking at professions that involve drafting a contract, making agreements, stipulating the conditions that would bind someone to a particular piece of work. It also means that you may be working in a legal profession. Maybe you're scrutinizing contracts or contract management. So the jobs of a legal consultant, of lawyers uh, and judges, or, or a legal consultant for a big corporation naturally follow from the seventh house. You could also be in a contractual job yourself where you're hired to complete a specific job over a specific period of time and for a set amount of money. There could be a number of jobs connected to that. Like, you know, uh, do this work and I'll pay you this much and you got to do it within this time. You know, like carpenting, construction workers, freelancers, right? And that's why it's important for people who have this position to look at their jobs like, a, like it's some kind of a contractual obligation uh, even though they may be a permanent employee on a payroll. So what do I mean by this uh, is that in order for you to see success, you need to bring about a sense of discipline and a methodical way of working in the process that you will follow while working. Be systematic. That's where your identity now lies. That's where your value actually increases. So how is this done? I mean... Um, you need to set the right expectations for your job, for your clients, for your employers from the very beginning about the scope of work and the kind of processes that you will follow, the working hour boundaries. You need to inform your clients when you're accessible and when you should not be contacted and also tell them that you would deliver or work on the changes suggested by them on such and such date and they will be more inclined uh, to give you that space till that date. You need to stick to that date though. So you need to communicate the project related boundaries, the deliverables, the deadline that you're setting up for this project. And if your job uh, involves negotiating pay, and when that time comes, you, you definitely will uh, get that pay rise. Okay. So seventh is also about interpersonal skills. So you can bring diplomats, foreign affairs, human resource recruitment, and managers under its sway. Mediators, customer support service uh, uh, can also be brought under the ambit of the seventh house. Since seventh house is also the tenth from the tenth, you can include careers that have rapid growth in them. Careers where you, you grow very quickly or gain a lot of recognition, uh, both within your firm and also outside your firm. Seventh is also about long-term partnerships, okay? And uh, also a very fast-paced career or a career where you become the image of the job that you perform and a job that is very stable uh, can be linked to the seventh unless there are other reasons in the chart that slows down the progress or causes a blemish in the image of that person in their professional life, like a malefic aspecting it. So that's all I've got for 7th house. You could also check out 4th house related careers for a better perspective. So let's see Saturn in the 5th house of the birth chart, which means Saturn is placed in the 8th from the 10th house. So here 
think of careers related to 8th house. First is politics, law enforcement, careers where you're hidden from public knowledge or working behind the scenes where people don't know you very well. Especially job related to uh, secret services. Jobs of a scientist who works in a lab in an isolated place away from people. Or someone whose identity is not known to people. So it's very important for these people to maintain a low profile or risk being exploited for their goodness. This is a very serious issue. Eighth is about hidden treasures of life, not just wealth. So any career that's related to being hidden in nature, like oil that's hidden under the earth, gold, precious metals, and stones like diamonds, can be connected to eighth house career. Careers can range from working for an oil firm to working in a cave or underneath the water. You know, there are plenty of people who work underwater, who uh, weld things, who fix cables running through the ocean. Jobs that are basically not known to people all that much, but also involves some element of risk can be connected with the 8th house. And these people are mostly underpaid. So if you're someone who's got 8th house, Saturn from the 10th, you're like a gem that's hidden under the earth. And when people get to know about it, they would want a piece of you. They would want to work with you to give them exclusive treatment and they would keep you hidden. So therefore you become one of the most treasured beings on earth and everyone who you come across would like to keep your identity uh, a secret from being known to other people. You become one of their best kept secrets uh, because they don't want you uh, to be whisked away by someone else. So, you know, uh, you don't get that kind of recognition that you deserve. So what do you do? You need to stay anonymous wherever possible and keep moving places, keep changing your avatar or your profession. And always remember to negotiate pay and emoluments and keep raising the bar. And most often than not, you will find success. Eighth also includes arcane sciences, esoteric knowledge like astrology. And these guys make one of the best astrologers. Eighth represents regeneration. So you could be doing research on stem cells which regenerate, right? So someone who works for a firm that transforms things, and that could be anything, physical, mental, bodily transformation, or transformation of a thing like a metal or liquid or a gas from one form to another. Uh, basically, we're looking at anything that undergoes a modification in its properties and not necessarily transforms in its form or shape alone. So plenty of career options here, including chemical engineering, right? You got to apply your mind to come up with these careers. It could also be uh, manufacturing because you import raw materials, manufacture your own goods and in your own style, and then ship it away to retailers for selling. You can also bring retailers or resellers who kind of add value or just do the packaging and send it to the buyer. So affiliate marketing is a fantastic option if you have Saturn in the fifth house from your ascendant because eighth is also working behind the scenes, right? You can be tied up with an e-commerce website which sells things and you refer that link and make a sale and get a commission. So all jobs that have commission as a way of making money can be linked to the eighth. Jobs where you get a commission for making a sale is linked with the eighth house. How wonderful, isn't it? That just gives us a plethora of options to work on, not just eighth, but also fifth house represents brokerage, commission, right? So this career overlaps in both houses. So a clear possibility of working in a commission-based job if you have Saturn in the fifth house from your ascendant in the birth chart. Eighth is about sexual energy. So people who are working in the field of sexual therapy, psychological counseling, and if Saturn is debilitated, in this place, it could even indicate profession in pornography. Eighth is about investigation. So I would bring investigative journalism under eighth. Forensic science, criminology can be seen from this house. Eighth house is about inheritance. 
So look at careers that involve drafting a will to working for an insurance company and assessing risks. Eighth is also about the intangibles. So we're looking at careers in software design, engineering, and artificial intelligence, the program which is working behind the scenes. Eighth houses death, so funeral services. A doc who operates on cadavers, looking for things that are hidden, including surgeons, psychotherapy, psychiatry, and self-awareness related careers. Eighth is about shared resources, so investments, joint finances, estate management comes under eighth. So any career that has a long but sustained with lots of ups and downs can be connected with the eighth house. Like for example, politics, there's longevity in politics, but not necessarily victory all the time. Sometimes you're left in the opposition fighting for the spotlight. Eighth can also, uh, in a way, include spiritual counseling, okay? And that's some of the careers related to eighth. And please also check out fifth house careers for more information. Moving on to Saturn in the sixth house, which means Saturn will be in the ninth house from the tenth. So ninth house, uh, such a tough position, especially if it's ninth from the birth chart where you reach an important realization that, you know, your father was right all along, but you now have a son who thinks you're wrong. The kind of lesson that life teaches us, right, happens all the time. Firstly, ninth is about father. So you could be following in the footsteps of your father. You could be employed in the same job as your father. You may even work with your father. Maybe it's a family business. Ninth is about higher education and philosophy. So you can be a teacher of sorts but more of a professor or a researcher or someone who teaches people in a college or a university or even for some advanced degree. Since it's also about philosophy and religion, you could be teaching theology, spirituality, philosophy about existence, including astrology. Ninth is working for any institution, not necessarily temple or charitable or non-profit institution, right? Uh, it can be anything. It could be Anything ranging from financial institutions, family institutions, research institutions, social institutions included. There's a whole lot of institutions out there. You need to figure where you are most likely to see yourself in based on the other techniques that I've mentioned in the first part of the video. Okay, and ninth is about faraway travel. So careers in the travel and tourism industry is a big possibility, including digital nomads and people who travel while they work or whose work involves traveling to different places like international relations and diplomacy, career in foreign service, people who explore for a living. Okay, Ninth is about writing and publishing. Authors, journalists, editing can be seen from this placement. Ninth is also about translation and languages. So we're looking at proficiency in different languages or at least one language and a career that is carved with the help of this exclusive knowledge like translators teaching a particular language. And also in today's age, you can think of computer languages or machine languages, okay? Ninth is the house of Dharma. So obviously, it represents ethics and legality. So we're looking at law and order and also professions in the area of human rights, civil rights activists, people who deliberate on what is morally and ethically correct. So definitely, uh, whatever job you're doing, you're going to be super ethical. You will only want what you have earned, okay? And that money should have your name on it or you don't want it. Also, consultants, humanitarian workers can be brought under this way of the ninth. Ethical policy makers can also be seen from the ninth. Ninth is also about cultural exchange, or international arts. Ninth, along with some planet in the fifth, may explain if you have a career in a casino, a place which is governed by luck and sudden fortune, including but not limited to working in a stock exchange or trading goods and currency. Ninth can also give a person a career in a religious place of worship, like being a priest or managing a temple trust or doing a back office job for a religious institute. 
that's all I've got for ninth house. Next up, we have Saturn in the seventh house, which means Saturn will be in the tenth house from the tenth. So, massive respect for those who have this position because tenth house is basically a house of duty. So, we're looking at routine jobs that involve making you responsible and making you accountable. Even small things like not going to work in time or skipping a process in your job could make you receive a lot of flack. Basically, where you're held accountable for your actions and also makes you expect less from what you do, which means which means all kinds of thankless jobs. I know that's a very mean thing to say, but really that's probably how you feel with Saturn in the 10th, right? But the good thing is that this placement will definitely give you state honors, will give you public recognition, irrespective of where you work, whether that's a government job or a job in a private firm or your own business. So quite possible that you're also in a laborious job like an agriculturalist working in the farm or a blue collar worker. Additionally, 10th also indicates leadership positions. So you could be in a role involving management, management of people, management of places and things. 10th is about public image. So public perception and reputation counts. So you could be in a public relations job or working for the government is a possibility. 10th is also your father's family business. You could be following in your father's footsteps. 10th is about power. So it also indicates working with powerful people or, or being in a powerful job or a post. Powerful but very responsible. We can also infer from the 10th that you may have careers in law and administration. Politics is a very big possibility. Some people also get into healthcare with Saturn in the 7th in their birth chart. 10th is also about dispute resolution and there's like n number of professions related to resolving disputes resolving problems from being a mechanic to sitting in an uh, air-conditioned room resolving technical queries uh, sorry issues for an electronic item or some sophisticated equipment like a tech support job in a bpo can also be linked with 10th 10th is also inheritance of your father's job you might be working in the same field as your father, or you might inherit his job. This is by far the most obvious chance, especially if you have son in the 10th house from the ascendant in your birth chart. Okay. But the beauty of this placement is you would most likely have a very secure job, a very stable career, as we have Saturn in the 10th from the 10th, which is the Bhavat Bhavan principle of astrology. So that's all I've got for Saturn in the 10th. Next up, we have uh, Saturn in the 8th house in the birth chart, which means Saturn is placed in the 11th house from the 10th. Saturn is placed in the 11th from the 10th. What a wonderful position for Saturn to be in. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the aphorism of Karako Baba Nasha. And Saturn represents longevity and goes into the house of longevity, which means it destroys your longevity, right? Well, not really. You see this aph aphorism as an exception, and that exception is given only to Saturn, which means you would get a boost to your life, you're gaining longevity with this position. And since it's the 11th house from the 10th, you're going to make a lot of wealth through your career. You're going to be well connected with people, a fantastic business circle, almost tightly knit, and they're going to come to your aid out of nowhere and elevate your position in terms of wealth and status. 11th house is about elder siblings. So you could be working with your elder brother or your elder sister or your elder brother could be bringing in the mula to your business. In a way, he'd play a very important role in, in the success of your business. This place can also help you take on multiple jobs, jobs or businesses that you run side by side. It could also mean that you might even turn your hobbies into a profession. So you have many vocations. So if you have this in your mind, like should I have own multiple businesses? I would definitely recommend it if you have this position. 11th is about innovation and technology. Careers in information technology, biotechnology, digital marketing, 
or anything that brings innovation to the table can be seen from this position. 11th is about hopes, aspiration, dreams that you have of building a career or carving a niche for yourself. And you're going to see many of those aspirations come true. You're going to see your dreams come true. You could be working for your dream organization. Some of us have small dreams and you might be cursing yourself for not dreaming big. But don't worry, as time passes by, your goals and wishes are going to increase and your life is going to change for the better. It's going to only get increasingly good in terms of wealth and success and also name and fame. Or should I say your lifestyle is going to completely get altered because of your job. Remember, eighth is conversion or transformation. Eleventh is financial gain. And when you put both pieces together, you get an altered lifestyle. A rich lifestyle due to your job. And most often than not, in my opinion, of course, an altered lifestyle is more of a gag. It gags your lifestyle. So my suggestion is that you choose a minimalism uh, as a lifestyle to help bring a sense of contentment. And this placement will give you a slow run in tackling diseases. So remember to take good care of yourself. Nonetheless, however slow your efforts in tackling diseases may be, Saturn will give you plenty of ammunition to fight against diseases. You would put sustained effort to tackle long-standing diseases, to tackle debt, to tackle challenges, right? Do subscribe to my channel if you found this helpful and also don't forget to share this video with your friends. Next up, we have Saturn in the ninth house in the birth chart which is 12th from the 10th. So this placement can indicate that you have a job in a foreign country or that you live outside your place of birth. And for some people, this can also mean that you're going to go in search of a job by crossing the ocean. So we're talking of a complete change in residence permanently. And 12th can also imply tourist guides and uh, people who work in the tourism industry. 12th is about imports and exports. It's about isolated places like a prison or an ashram, right? So you could find yourself in an employment in any of these places. But let me tell you that the 12th is as big as an enigma as the eighth houses. It's the house of spirituality. It's the house of the subconscious mind and all things that are intangible, or should I say non-material in nature, which is governed by this house. So careers can range from spiritual teachers to psychologists or psychiatrists or people who can read the stars and planets like astrology or even metaphysics. Twelfth is about hidden talents because your subconscious mind is involved here. So people who make a career out of hidden talents can be seen from this place, whatever that might be. It could be art, music, or having a superhuman memory or whatever. I'm sure you can fit in many, many things. Also, since the mind is involved, you have the unique edge over other people, which other people may not have because you now put not only your body and mind to your job, but also your spirit, your will, your enthusiasm to the job. There are many, many people who are not interested in their jobs. They do it because they have to. And many people fizzle out because they're forcing themselves to do it. A work becomes a lot more easier when you not only give your 100%, but also enjoy doing it. And that's the best part of this position. It allows you to be consistent in your job. You love doing your job and that that's the reason why you don't get fatigued in the long run, okay? And since it's also about losses, you could be working for a firm that does counseling work to those who have lost something, including their health and wellness. So a job in a hospital is not ruled out with this position, but usually, Displacement can also give you losses in your job, in your business, and also make you change jobs very frequently or move from one place to another. And 12th from the 10th is tarnishing your reputation as well. You can be made a scapegoat for an act that you did not commit. And the best remedy for this is to probably move to a different country. And that might just solve your problem as 12th is about foreign connections, foreign journeys, working in a foreign place, right? If moving away from your place of stay is not possible for whatever reason, like economic circumstances or because it's considered taboo in your religions or whatever reason, then you could 
you should definitely appease the ninth lord from your lagna okay 12th is also about expenses so you could be working for a firm that does expense management including giving away loans that handles debt so you could be looking at uh, bank managers from the 12th people who are working in the field of loans credit so that's all i've got for 12th house now moving on to saturn in the 10th house which brings us to saturn in the first from the 10th first is about the self so self-employment is the first option managing one's own business you might end up starting your own business you may be an entrepreneur maybe even freelancing career in politics is also a possibility being a leader because first house in the natural zodiac order is ruled by mars which stands for these things for being a leader right personal image advertisement is another wonderful career these days you could be involved in modeling fashion beauty where you sell your image to make a living sounds pretty cool and normal today that one gets paid for being a fashion model but back in the 15th or 16th century that would have sounded absurd or outlandish right of course being an actor or being in the entertainment arena cannot be dismissed either because first house is also about how you express yourself and how you carry yourself that brings you recognition so it's connected to the showbiz so that's another career option if you have saturn in the 10th from your ascendant first is also about marketing public relations sales and since body mind and intelligence is involved i would also bring in medics healers uh doctors fitness coach sports and athletics uh, as part of careers connected with this placement counseling is also a possibility but mostly anything that involves physical or competitive work can easily be attributed to first house first house is also about new beginnings and new perspectives so you could be in a job which is ever changing which evolves over uh, a period of time so you would in all likely would never feel bored at your job because your job gives you variety so look at management careers look at human resource careers also people who are involved in the changing business dynamics of uh, of any domain it's a wonderful placement to have for yourself but in this position of saturn if it's in the first house of your birth chart i'm talking about your ascendant if saturn is in the ascendant in your birth chart then it could bring delays in your marriage okay now moving on to saturn in the 11th house which brings us to saturn in the second house from the 10th house second from the 10th we can connect family business second is about saving so we're looking at careers connected with finance dealing with other people's savings so bank managers or someone working for a financial institute where money is safe lent and recouped with interest accounting jobs and basically anything that's connected with money and finance second house is about speech so we're looking at anyone who carves a niche with just his speech these people have the gift of gab and they can talk their way into convincing people by way of motivation or counseling or make a living out of it so you can bring counselors uh spiritual gurus uh motivational speakers sales and marketing folks under the sway of the second house second house is also having your own business and managing that money so you could connect any business where you take on the role of managing the cash flow for the business including someone who pools funds and invests in equities or commodities like a mutual fund manager or running your own mutual fund business so anything that has a direct connection with handling money can be linked to the second house second house jobs could also mean that you are in the business of luxury goods like jewelry including trading in precious metals and stones gold and silver or uh, diamonds and rubies careers connected with beauty fashion arts music and entertainment including fashion design interior decorators can also be seen from this position second is also about perfume about flowers and strangely also about cooks or chefs why because second house is connected with food 
so top-notch chefs can be seen from this position. You could also be working in the food industry, from a delivery person to owning that restaurant or working with nutrition like nutritionists and dietitians can be seen from this position. Second house can also be connected with property management. Actually, this is the strange one. Why? Because, uh, because Scorpio signs aspect on the natural second house. And by the way, Scorpio is ruled by Mars. So you could be seeing people who are real estate agents or property managers from this position because uh, Mars represents all these things, right? And second house is about savings. So anything that's tangible and collectible can be brought under the ambit of the second house. So we are looking at careers in, in a museum, in an antique store, or where you display art or painting and make money out of it. From selling to auctioning these items, we're looking at a wide range of careers connected with the second house, okay? Second house is also about freelance jobs or working on skills and crafts. Uh, I think many of you may have heard of the channel Blossom on Facebook. You can connect careers that does these kind of things. I would also connect this with the fifth house, but it's mostly about recycling things by saving and then transforming it into something useful and making a sale. Also check out careers connected with the 11th house for more detailed information. Okay. Finally, we have Saturn in the 12th house and the birth chart, which is third house from the 10th house. So third from the 10th. So third house related careers include communication as its main theme. So any job that involves a lot of communication, especially the written communication and also interpersonal skills can be connected with the third house. Again, sales and marketing becomes a very important uh, a foundation for the third house. Third house is ruled by Mercury in the natural zodiac order. So you can bring careers related to the intellect. People who, who do a lot of calculations in their job. Mathematicians, physicists, accountants, people who crunch numbers for a living, including engineers of all kinds can be seen from this place. All kinds. Okay? Because third is also ability to solve problems rapidly. So this could also mean uh, you could be seeing management related careers as well. Even those who employ tricks and use legal le loopholes to accommodate something can be seen from this position. So something like a tax consultant. Okay. Third is about efforts. So someone would have to put massive amount of effort in a work, including works which are connected to uh, paying attention to details like fine arts or drawing a blueprint for a building, technical plans or drawings. So draftsmen to architects all come under the third house related career. Third house can also indicate career in journalism and writing. Careers in education and teaching can also be seen from this place because this one directly aspects the ninth house of higher learning. Third can also indicate careers in public speaking and broadcasting, including talk show hosts, radio jockeys, podcasting, translation and interpretation related careers, someone who uses their knowledge or proficiency in a particular language can be connected with the third house. This could also indicate computer languages, right? Machine languages. And importantly, Another career that slowly picked up in recent years is content creation or content writing. So we can bring content writing into third house related careers. Being an author of a book can be third house influence on you. Third is also about short distance journeys. So it means you could be working in some field where you're required to go from one place to another. Sometimes it's to the same place while sometimes it's altogether a different place but being in the 12th from the ascendant means foreign jobs or careers as well and one thing that i've noticed about someone having saturn in the third house or in the 12th house from their ascendant with regards to career of course is that they are very quick to adapt and open to change they have no problem adapting to a new environment and to absorb new information 
since the earth is about siblings and neighbors, they bring in a sense of having a connection uh, and help bring about a community feeling in their uh, in their work environment. So it signifies short trips to some place, but they quickly adapt and build connections in that place. So that's all with regards to the third house. And let me tell you that there are n number of careers today. Unlike in the past, but I have only given you a snapshot of the possible careers based on Saturn's position. So you'll have to do that extra homework of connecting other planets and positions, including looking at the Dashan Bhakti before you arrive at a conclusion about the kind of career that you might get into. As regards success in career, please check out the strength of the 10th house, 7th house, strength of Saturn, its aspects, and also the planets that aspect 10th house and Saturn, which is a very important piece of information. If you are only concerned with money that you will be making, then check out strength of the 11th house. If you know how to work with Ashtakvarga, look at Ashtakvarga points for 10th house, 7th house, and Saturn in the house in which it is placed to help understand the success rate. For money, look at Astakmarga for the 11th house. Now, I wanted to do a part three of this video, but this was quite a lot in my opinion, but there's more to career that I would like to cover, and I probably will do a part three if I see a demand for it. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and share this with your friends, and please subscribe if you're new here and I will see you guys again with another new video very soon. Until then, it's me Vijay signing off, wishing you success and happiness in your career.